Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today I'll be continuing to rate all the rifles from both EFP and Gamma mod pack for Stalker Anomaly. This time I'll be covering the 556x45 rifles. If you have any feedback or questions, feel free to come ask me when I'm live on Twitch. Link is in the description. Else drop a comment down below. While you're down there, make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss future rifle tier list videos. 556x45 FMJ is very similar to 545x39 FMJ. I would avoid using the HP rounds as they are not very effective at taking down mutants, but the AP rounds are quite good at killing stalkers. This is a good thing as most 556 rifles cannot be rechambered to another caliber, so you are stuck with it. Also last thing, in all the weapon tier list videos I'll be comparing the gun's default magazine size to accommodate for everyone's install, regardless if they have magazines or not. First up is the AK-5C and AK-5C ISG. They are both practically the same gun. Only difference is the ISG has a laser. Otherwise, this is a good gun. It has a great selection of sights, a fast fire rate, and is accurate. The only reason why this gun isn't S tier is due to the 30 round magazine, so we're going to A tier. The AX-21 is exclusive to EFP and is another good weapon. Like the AK-5C, it has good sights, recoil, and fire rate. However, it has a slightly bigger mag size of 35. This would put the gun into S tier if it wasn't for the fact that every reload is a full reload, which takes a long time, so it'll go into A tier. Another EFP exclusive is the ADAR. This gun has good sights and very low recoil. The fire rate is good, but the main problem is the gun being semi-automatic. For this reason I cannot put the gun anywhere but B tier. Practically identical are the AK-101 and AK-102. These guns don't have that good sight options and have quite high recoil. The magazine capacity is okay at 30, but that's the only real thing going for it, so these guns will go into C tier. Contrasting the previous gun is the AK-105 Swamp Thing. This gun is very good. It has a great sight selection, but the best part is the 45 round capacity and high fire rate which low recoil. It is quite clear that this gun will go into S tier. Continuing with amazing guns is the AR-15 Hera. This gun is fairly similar to the Swamp Thing, except the Hera's main advantage is the 60 round drum mag. Else, it has good sights, high accuracy, and fire rate. This is another S tier weapon. Back to bad weapons is the AUG A1 and A1 CQB. These guns have decent accuracy and okay fire rate, but that doesn't matter at all as the sights are terrible. They do have backup iron sights, but they aren't much better. This gun will go into C tier. The AUG A2 is slightly better as it allows for the attachment of other scopes, but the selection isn't too big. This upgrades the gun into B tier. Last of the AUG family is the AUG A3 and F90. They both have an even better selection of sights, good accuracy and okay recoil. Again, this gun would go into S tier if it wasn't for the 30 round magazine, so we'll go into A tier. Only in the EFP mod pack is the BRN-180. This is a great gun with good sights, good accuracy and a good 40 round capacity. However, this gun takes up half the screen when not aiming, which will prevent this gun from going into S tier, so we'll go into A tier. As much as I want to hate the Famous, its performance in Stalker is far from bad. It has a great selection of sights and okay accuracy. The recoil isn't bad and it has a very fast fire rate. But once again, the magazine size is 30, which isn't terrible, but considering the high fire rate isn't great. This gun will go into A tier. The F2000 looks interesting, but unfortunately its performance isn't as interesting as it looks. This is mainly due to the terrible sights. It does have iron sights, but they aren't much better. This is a shame because the gun has good accuracy and a fast fire rate, but a lot of potential which is let down by the optics. This gun will go into C tier. The FNC is probably one of the worst rifles yet reviewed. The fire rate is average and the accuracy is okay, but you cannot attach any sights to this gun. This makes the gun useless, as literally any other 556 rifle is better. This is the first F tier of rifle. Next is the G36 family of rifles. The G36 has okay accuracy, good fire rate and good recoil. It comes with a decent scope, making a good early game, but this also means that you can't swap it out when you find one. The whole team is bad, but at least there is one. This gun will go into B tier. The G36C and G36K is like the G36, but has no fixed sight. This is better as it means you can attach your own sights, but it also loses its ult aim, so it will stay in B tier. Last of the G36 variants is the G36L. This is just the previous guns, but with the ability to attach a grenade launcher. But this doesn't matter as the grenade launcher sights are useless when using the ACOG, so this gun will also go into B tier. The HK416 has good accuracy, great scopes and can attach a grenade launcher, 
but like the G36L, the grenade launcher sights are unusable with a scope attached. This isn't the main issue though. The main issue is once again the 30 round mag, which again prevents this gun from being S tier. Two guns in the EFP mod pack are the Honey Badger and Sig MCX. These guns are very similar with good accuracy, big magazine size of 40 and a great selection of scopes. They also have a high fire rate and would be S tier if the recoil wasn't so high. So they'll be A tier. The Howard Type 20 is an amazing rifle. It has good accuracy, a very high fire rate, a built in scope, which is normally a bad thing, but this scope on the Howard is very nice. Normally I would say that this gun is almost S tier due to the 30 round mag, but due to the very low recoil on this gun, I have to put it into S tier. Next up is a family of rifles which are the pinnacle of firearms, the L85s. On a serious note, the L85s aren't too great. The L85A1 and A2 do have the good fire rates and accuracies, but have a built in scope which isn't too good, and the iron sights on it suck, but the main reason why they're bad is the reload animation being painfully long. This is the main reason why this gun is in C tier. The modernized variant is the same as the previous L85s but can attach other sights. This upgrades the gun to B tier. The tactical variant is the same as the previous but with a laser and an under barrel. The main difference is the faster reload time. This makes this gun A tier. The LR300 has a very high fire rate and ok recoil but is hindered by the lack of scopes and 30 round capacity, so we will go into A tier. Next is the M16A2, which sucks. It has bad accuracy but the main issue is the lack of sights. That would place it with the FNC and F tier if it didn't fit a grenade launcher. This barely puts the gun into D tier. Like the M16A2 is the M16A4. This is the same as the previous gun but can attach a scope and is more accurate. This upgrades the gun to B tier. Technically an LMG is the M249, but it is in the rifles category so I'll rate it here. Accuracy is ok and it can attach a few scopes, but the main advantage is having a 100 round capacity. You would think that this would make the gun really good but I don't think that. Most of the time you will be trying to preserve ammo in Stalker, mag dumping 100 rounds at a time. This gun punishes conserving ammo by having a long reload time. In general, I don't really rate LMGs in Stalker that highly, therefore this gun will go into B tier. Next up is a couple of M4 variants, starting with the M4A1 RAS. Again, this is a typical gun which has good scopes, fire rate, accuracy and recoil, but could have a bigger magazine size than 30. So we'll go into A tier. The M4 Butcher however, solves this issue by having a 60 round magazine. Not only that, but it also comes with a 45 degree sight and a very high fire rate. This is another S tier weapon. I really want to like the Ruger SR556 as it comes with a 45 degree sight and has a high fire rate, but it suffers from only having a 20 round mag. This will make the gun miss out on S tier and go into A tier. Skinfant's AR however seems to be another standard 556 rifle that is almost S tier but has a 30 round magazine. But like the Hauer, it has a very high fire rate and very low recoil, allowing this gun back into S tier. Continuing the streak of good guns is the M4 Tactical. This is basically the same as the Skinflint, except with a 40 round magazine. If the Skinflint was S tier then this gun is definitely S tier. Back to an EFP exclusive is the Scar L. This gun has good accuracy and scopes, but suffers from very bad recoil and only a 20 round magazine. Therefore this gun will go into C tier. The CQB variant is slightly better as it is the same as the previous weapon, but has a 30 round magazine. It also has less recoil, making it B tier. The SG550 is a great gun due to its very low recoil. The fire rate isn't bad and it has a great selection of sights. This gun would be S tier if it had a greater than 30 round magazine or a laser for hip firing. So we'll go into A tier, which is where the tactical variant comes in, adding a laser and making this gun S tier. The SG552 Commando is basically the same as the SG55 and will also go into A tier. The SG-552 Commando and ISG is the same as the SG-550 Tactical and will also go into S tier. The last EFP exclusive is the TX-15. This gun is very accurate and has a good fire rate. The scope selection is good but is only semi-automatic, so can't go anywhere above B tier. The Howard Type 89 is accurate, has a high fire rate and a 40 round magazine. This would make the gun S tier if it wasn't for the high recoil. So we're going to A tier. Finally is the X8. This gun is fairly accurate and has an ok fire rate. The scopes however are quite limited and it only has a 30 round magazine. This gun will go into B tier. So that was my rating of all the 556 rifles in both EFP and Gamma. What do you think? If you think I've incorrectly rated a gun, 
Come and join me while I'm live on Twitch, link in the description, or drop a comment down below. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for the next part of the tier list. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.